Hi loves, good morning. I am starting this vlog on my phone because I forgot to carry my camera over. Having some internet troubles in the barn at the minute, so I've just come over to do a few bits on my laptop this morning. It is a gorgeous day outside, hence how bright and beautiful it is behind me. Um, and it's so, so nice to feel the sun on my skin. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm all ready for the day gonna do this until lunchtime I think and then I'm gonna film my pregnancy Q&A today finally <laughs> I must have asked for those questions almost like eight weeks ago or something I don't know but anyway I'm gonna do that today and yeah just gonna have a nice day I think getting on with bits and bobs um, but yeah, I've got a little bit of editing and stuff to do this morning, so I'm going to get on with that. So my loves, I have finished my work, had a bit of lunch, had some leftovers from last night, and I'm being needed and loved by this cat. He just wants to get under my legs, I think. But it's nice to have some cosy cuddles. Anyway, I wasn't supposed to, I was just going for a wee. But then I saw the cat and I've sat down now and I'm just having some love with him. It's taking me ages to do everything today, of course, but I will eventually get over there and film my q and A. It's such a nice day. I'm enjoying it so much. Zach's washing the car. I'm a real perfectionist about it. Each car is taking a very long time. He's even in a t-shirt. It's that lovely today. Hi, my lovely one. So, I have just finished filming um, my q and A. Probably talked for way too long, but that always happens. Just before, Zach was just finishing doing the loud bit of cleaning the car and I was sat in the sunshine in a chair outside and it was so nice, so, so nice. I think that is the major things I have to do today done, which is nice because I've had quite a busy week and I am feeling a bit tired. So I think I'm going to just chill, maybe watch some housewives, make a cup of tea maybe, <laughs> just nice things. So it's a little bit later in the evening now. Had my dinner, watched some TV with the fam and I'm gonna run myself a bath and have a bit of a pampering session and have just a nice winding down evening routine, trying to implement this in the final few weeks of pregnancy to really help me sleep a little bit better and also start producing that oxytocin upping my <laughs> attention to relaxation because sometimes you do actually have to focus on relaxing people um, as we near birth <laughs> because all of those things are really important for labour and birth so yes I'm gonna do that I don't know whether it will have gone up probably has gone up did a job with look fantastic with some stories um, for Mother's Day to just pick some pampering products out stuff to treat yourselves to treat your loved ones and so I've got lots of lovely products so lots of these products were part of that job but still loving them still using them wanted to share it on here as well but this isn't an ad it just was part of that sorry about the sheer mess behind me um yes <laughs> it's looking messy in here i started dead astronauts by jeff vandermeer and i am really enjoying it different again to his other books i often find that with vandermeer not all of his books are different from each other but he often switches up the style a little bit so yes but i am enjoying it so far it's sort of like a weird post-apocalyptic biotech fable <laughs> um it's it's weird and wonderful so i'm gonna read that in the bath i reckon Right, I know this is probably going to be really loud, isn't it? But <laughs> we've got a few options for my bath cocktail. I think I'm going to use at least a couple of products. So we've got the Neom um, Scent to De-Stress Real Luxury Bath Foam. Can't remember exactly what the smell of this is, but it smells nice. We've got the Deep Sleep Bath Soap. Or we've got these bath oils from Espa. Um, we've got Detoxifying, Energizing, Fitness, Resistance, Restorative and Soothing. I'm gonna go for a combo of these two. Here we are, guys. Nice and cozy bath. Mood lights on. Got my amber and smoke paddy wax apothecary candle on. Or lit, rather. <laughs> I think Indy got me this for my last birthday. It smells so good. Got my book, water, and my chai tea. Which Zach just made me. <laughs> 
and I'm enjoying very much. So, just got out of the bath and um, did my skincare routine before when I showed you that the other day, so probably be boring to show you again. Body skincare wise, still using my Olayda Skin Food Body Butter. Love this stuff, it's nice and rich and intensive on the skin. I tried various of the popular belly butters, belly whatever, belly creams that are out there and everyone I tried was a really quite a light cream and I was just thinking in my head like surely surely you want something more intensive than that a lot of people like oils personally not an oil person because I feel like a lot of it transfers before you get the benefits so with an oil you do sort of I guess wait for it to sink into the skin which is fine but if you put a t-shirt on or anything on I feel like you lose a lot of the oil very quickly and everything becomes oily and gross before you get a lot of the benefits whereas I find with like a really thick intensive butter or cream um, you get that sort of long-term protection it'll keep um, moisturizing you it feels soft to the touch for a few hours but you don't get all that transfer so that's why I prefer body butters you also and you get barrier effect um, and all of that kind of stuff so yes so personally for me I would just keep going with whatever intensive moisturizer you already have um, for your belly that's what I found to be useful for me anyway a good option as well is like Palmer's cocoa butter something really like just standardly intensively moisturizing because I see all these belly butters and oils and belly masks and I'm just like can that really be doing anything very different from a normal very good moisturizer so yeah anyway that's my um, rant over I am gonna head upstairs now and get comfy more nice products that I got from that look fantastic I got these Neom well-being well I cannot speak I'm so tired well-being essential oil blends and in here I mean, you can use these in the bath as well. You can use them for massage or something with a carrier oil. They're just sort of Neom's blends. But we've got scent to sleep, scent to de-stress, scent to boost your energy, and scent to make you happy. Um, I'm obviously going to put scent to sleep in. And then I've put this diffuser on Zach's side of the bed because it's a little bit less um, busy than my side. Anyway, I just popped it on. But how nice is that diffuser? It just looks so pretty compared to a lot of the ones I've seen. Um, and I love the green <laughs> coloration on it. Um, you all know I'm a sucker for anything just slightly green, but I just, <laughs> I think it's really nice. I think you can have it just as a light if you want. Um, I also find this, the sounds of diffusers really satisfying, that little kind of plopping sound. <laughs> it's probably annoying to some people, but I just really enjoy it. So anyway, pop that in and hopefully it'll smell nice when that comes up as well. And the final product that I got from them was this Bedtime Hero Pillow Mist from Neon. This actually has no lavender in it as well. I quite like lavender, but yes, if you're an anti-lavender person and all these sleep things have lavender in, you might like this. I think it smells rather delicious. So I'm gonna spritz this on my pillow and then I'm feeling very relaxed right now. <laughs> Maybe too relaxed to finish the vlog properly. Okay, Willis, I am gonna probably read myself to sleep now. I'm feeling very chill and hopefully we'll get a good night's sleep. But yeah, just wanted to share those bits with you really because I have enjoyed them so much since they arrived and thought it was worth showing you on here as well. Thank you all so much for watching today and I will see you again very soon. Bye.